Good morning, Marion County fam. It's your boy Corwin Millett here this morning for your Marion County real estate update. Want to touch bases on the number of properties on market again this week. Um, we've had on this past week, we had a little bit of activity, a few properties that went on the contract. Um, a few properties have sold. Um, so this always makes for a healthy real estate market, people buying and selling houses. Um, currently, there are 149 properties that are either um, active on the market or active on the market that are under currently under contract. Um, there are four properties that have sold in the Marion County area within the last, um, starting with a, a start date of um, October 1st, actually this past week, two properties um, have sold and I'm going to highlight those in a moment. As far as your active properties on the market, the price ranges range from a low of um, $10,500 to a high price of $569,000, um, that average price being $125,412 as far as an average price point. Um, as far as the property that have sold, the lowest price is $38,000, the high property is $160,000 with an average of $86,375. Um, as far as those properties that have sold, the two recent sales um, have actually been um, one in Marion and one in Mullins. Um, a property in Marion, um, 5034 Brantwood Drive, um, and then also 5213 Lake Russell Road in Mullins have sold. Um, the property on Lake Russell Road sold for $160,000. Um, it was a three-bedroom, two-bath home, um, had a one-car garage. And then the property on Brantwood um, sold for $89,000. It was a three-bedroom, two-bath with a two-car garage. Um, both properties, um, one sold FHA financing, one sold VA financing. Um, so there are government-backed loans. Um, I do want to say and highlight one other thing before I let you go today, guys. And I appreciate you taking the time to, to watch these videos and, and get this information and these updates. I ran a little synopsis this morning, a little scenario, if you will. Um, of you know what happens when you rent versus buy. Um, if you're paying $500 a month in rent, um, and what I did is said, oh, you're paying $500 per month in rent. Of course, you have rentals insurance, and most renters, you do have an increase in rent periodically, usually every year. Um, most landlords um, apply anywhere from a 5 to 10% um, increase annually on rent. So I use 5%. Um, I compared it against the purchase of a $70,000 home saying no appreciation and value stays stagnant and there's nothing went up, that you did a little bit of saving, that you had a tax rate of approximately 33%. Um, you had a loan amount, you financed at 100% with a 30-year term at four and a quarter on an interest rate. These are the, some of the numbers that I use in comparison. Long story short, including maintenance and, and insurance and um, taxes on the home, um, owning, a, owning a home for 70,000 versus paying $500 a month with an annual 5% increase, Owning will save you $22,304 versus renting during the same time period. That's substantial. You want to talk about your child's college fund, um, those things. That's where your money is right there. You're putting your money in rent versus putting your money in ownership and saving yourself money to be able to do those other things. Marion family, I appreciate you. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.